So this one is just a gear train with an idler and you can see that the gears rotate. My drive gear is this one right here. This is my driven gear and the purpose of this idler is so that this gear and this gear will go in the same direction. When I'm trying to figure out what the gear ratio is, this gear right here has no effect on what the gear ratio is. So if this is my drive gear, I am going to have more speed versus torque because this gear is larger than this gear here. So that means that uh, I will have more speed. If the opposite is true, if I remove the, the crank and I use this now as my drive gear and this is my driven gear, I'm going to have more torque. Okay. Another use for gear trains with idlers is that I can use it to help me with positioning because sometimes I need to have my gears in certain positions based on the way something is built. So for example in this one, right now this one is my drive gear, this is my idler gear, and this is my driven gear. So it's kind of in a 90 degree angle. Oops, I have that, sorry kind of in a 90 degree angle, okay? And then I can do the opposite where this becomes my drive gear, this is my driven gear, this is still my idler gear. And again, this gear in the middle has no bearing on my gear ratio. It is simply there to make my gears travel in the same direction. Now we get to where we have added in two idler gears. In this case, what's going to happen is that my gears, if this is my drive gear and this is my driven gear, when I turn it, because I have two idler gears in here, my drive gear and my driven gear are now going back in opposite directions. So if I'm going to have multiple idler gears, I want to have an odd number of idler gears so that my drive and my driven gears will turn in the same direction. If I have an even number of idler gears, then my drive and my driven gear will turn in opposite directions. So you might use something like this with multiple idler gears in order to increase the distance between your gears based on what you want to be creating. However, uh, another idea may be to use something like a chain drive instead because rather than have those idler gears in the middle and making sure they all mesh and you could use sprockets and a chain in order to accomplish the same goal. In this particular gear train, my drive gear and my driven gear are the same size. That means that my speed and torque is constant.